are going to extend your April reading out here today, okay? This is going to be an April extended reading for Scorpio, okay? So if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of the video, along with the Amazon links where you can buy every tarot deck featured here in this video. That's in the description of the video as well. And today I have added a new deck to the collection. And I'm absolutely in love with this deck. I am blown away. It's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I would highly recommend this one. You know, I, I, I'm not, it takes a lot for a tarot deck to actually impress me, you know. And this one here is very impressive. I'll just say that. Very impressive. So, I'm going to start the reading out with it, okay. Anyway, what we're starting off with is your energy, Scorpio. The energy surrounding you. Your energy and the energy surrounding you, Okay. What do we got? Universe, source, spirit, for Scorpio's energy. Energy surrounding Scorpio, April 2021. Ooh, oh, oh. Two more shuffles here, two more. All right. Still a brand new deck, very, very slippery. I like them that way, though. Oh, okay, the Page of Cups in the reverse. Oh, okay. You got your eye on this person? Got your eye on this person? Ooh, okay, though. Okay. But you do have the Nine of Cups. This is very good. There is an incomplete cycle, okay? But at least you have the Nine of Cups upright, which is absolutely beautiful, okay? Um, I really feel like you're actually... This is, this is something that you, you walked away from and you probably weren't wanting to, you know, like, I know that this has to be done and over, you know, I know it, need, I just don't feel it. You know, it was an incomplete cycle for a while. It's still an incomplete cycle, but I feel like you're finally coming to terms with it and actually shutting the door. You know what I mean? That makes sense. And actually releasing yourself from it and, and no longer holding on to hopes, no longer like maybe if I did this or if I would have done that or should have, could have, would have. There's no more of that going on, you know, but there is still this unfinished business. But I do kind of feel like a lot of you are actually discovering what it feels like to be emotionally independent. Mm -hmm. Lots of people fight that feeling, but you're actually starting to feel what it feels like to be emotionally independent, not nine of pentacles, not just uh, you know, the type of person that can function really good by themselves. I mean, actual emotional independence where I thought I needed this love relationship to make me happy and to fulfill me. And now I realize I don't need that. You know, very, very, very close. That right there, when you want to manifest your life partner, you have to get to that frequency. Okay. And I really feel like you all are starting to step onto that path. Okay. Page of Wands, I really feel like a lot of you, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, I feel like a lot of you have uh, new things coming in definitely, but you're, you're much more focused on the future than you are on the past, okay? Much more focused, okay? But when it comes to this past person, I feel like you all just weren't a very good team, you know? Even if both of you came into this situation with the best of intentions, you know? We can both have the best intentions, but if we're not a good team, if we don't work together as a unit, it ain't happening. It's just simply not happening. You know what I mean? Let's look at the person that you're dealing with here. Let's see what their energy is, how they feel about you, what their true intentions are. Person Scorpio is dealing with universe source spirit. Person Scorpio is dealing with. Boom, eight of cups, they're walking away. Walking away, all right? Three shuffles, one, two, and three. Mm, could be a Libra for some of you, Justice. <coughs> yeah, they're throwing in the white towel, man. Some of you dealing with a Capricorn. Mm. Yeah, they're bummed out about it. They're bummed out about it. Ten of Cups. I, I, like, like I said, I think the two of you had the best of intentions, okay? You know what I mean? You just, you didn't speak the same language. 
Uh, you had different needs and all these different things. The two of you just didn't make a very good team, okay? And I think they know this. I think you both know this, you know? I, I really don't see a whole lot of ill will, maybe a little bit. Uh, there, there probably was a lot in the past, but this person's really getting to the point to where, same thing. I think you all are both on the same page. You know, look, it is what it is. I got to go. I wanted this. Man, I wanted this. And I tried really, really hard, but we were just too toxic. It was just too unhealthy of a mixture. Even if we both have the good intentions, you know, Mentos and Diet Coke, man, they both taste good, but not, not when they're both in your mouth at the same time. It'll explode, won't it? <laughs> Cheesy example, but you understand what I'm saying? Could be a Taurus for some of you, but um, mm. yeah, they're let down. They're definitely let down. Their expectations, you know, came crashing down. Their hopes and dreams came crashing down. But I think you all are both on the same page. It's a done dollar. Done, you know? Well, hmm. let's see if this person is going to take any action. Are they going to communicate? Are they going to change their mind? What's the dealio, Emilio? This looks pretty straightforward so far. I think most of you, most of you, at least the group of Scorpios I'm reading for for this reading right here, are going to have a lot more action in your new love readings. Two more shuffles, two more. Four of Pentacles. Mmm, yeah, Ace of Cups. Five of or is that Ten of Cups again? Okay, so the person you're dealing with here is very emotionally codependent, all right? And I think you're becoming very emotionally independent, okay? They have the Nine of Cups in the reverse here. It looks to me like they're dropping this and going straight to try to find somebody else, okay? Uh, they're trying to find somebody else. Um, they're playing the victim game is what I'm seeing here, you know? Now, I know that I'm reading for a lot of different Scorpios here. Some of you did do something wrong. Some of you didn't do anything wrong. But either way, this person's definitely spinning it like, you know, man, what happened to me? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go look for another relationship, and I'm going to use the poor, pitiful me strategy to uh, pick somebody else up, you know? I'm going to use the me, poor me, you know? And that's what I think that they're doing right here. And I think they're trying to put on a front. They're really trying to put on a front like they're, like they're doing good. But, uh, yeah, I, I think this person's still remaining closed off and, and not opening up to you, not reaching out. I think they're just trying to jump straight into something else with a broken heart, still empty, still hurt, still let down. Two of Wands reversed, yeah. Two of Cups, see? Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, yeah, I, I really don't see them. I, I see them remaining closed off. I don't see them reaching out. I think they're jumping straight to another person here. Jumping straight into something new, okay? Uh, let's call out the Major Arcana here. We got Virgo, just Virgo, but you all know it could be anybody. Man, okay, well, I almost don't even want to post this reading. It's kind of boring, honestly. <laughs> That's what's coming through, though, so I got to read it. Let's look at the best advice. Best advice. What is the best advice for Scorpio? This is this right here is the good part. This is where the good stuff comes in. What's the best advice? <laughs> two more shuffles, two more. Four cups, knight of cups. So you need to focus on something new, okay? Learn the value of alone time, okay? <clears throat> that doesn't mean go be alone and isolated and lonely. <clears throat> that means learn the value of alone time, you know? We've been so conditioned to be afraid of being alone, and that is the leading cause of the vast majority of relationship failure. Now, you know, I know that that manifests into many different things, but that's the seed 
that grows what makes most relationships fail. It's fear of being alone. There is nothing wrong with alone time at all. Even if you manifest your life partner, even when you manifest your life partner, it's still going to be very important for you to schedule yourself some me time. Both of you. You need to learn the value of being alone. And I know some of you already are. I saw that at the very beginning of the, of the, the spread, the very first spread, okay? But really, really soak up the true value of, of what all you can gain from forming a relationship with yourself, you know? Forming that level of self-love and that level of self-confidence to where whatever new comes in, when you have that relationship with yourself, not only does that equalize the frequency of a relationship, but you know what you want and what you don't want. You know what you'll settle for and what you won't settle for. You know what you deserve. You know what I mean? See, a lot of you, a lot of you can actually go inside and admit to yourself with a clear conscience and a clean heart that you bring nothing to the table but honesty, loyalty, commitment, now, I know there's some of you that aren't quite there yet. Some of you have been playing some sneaky little shady games. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the Scorpios who can, can genuinely go inside and say, look, no, I bring to the table nothing but value, nothing but honesty, nothing but loyalty, nothing but commitment, nothing but the willingness to actually work and build something beautiful with another person. That's what I bring to the table. And for those of you who can look in your heart and say that, you need to understand that if somebody is too stupid to see that, appreciate that, and want that, and cherish that, that doesn't say anything about you. Not at all. Not by a long shot. I'll never forget the day that that light bulb popped on for me. Let me just tell you some personal rich lot stuff here, okay? This is all cards aside. This is just me, the real raw me. Back in the day, my favorite thing to say to myself used to be, I guess I'm just not good enough. I guess I'm just not good enough. I'm obviously not good enough. Every time I'm interested in a woman, she would rather ghost me and go run off to some little bitch boy that ain't half the man that I am, that doesn't bring half to the table that I have to offer. Well, I guess I'm just not good enough. Well, guess what? You know what Universe said to me? All right, Rich likes not being good enough. No problem, Rich. I got you, bro. Here's some more. You're not good enough. Got you. Your wish is my command. And it wasn't until that day that I had to say, whoa, Rich, hold up, dude. Hold up, man. We know what we bring to the table. Honesty, loyalty, commitment, the willingness to work and build. If somebody's too stupid to see that and appreciate that and abuse it or run away from it or take it for granted, that don't say nothing about me. You're the idiot. <laughs> You're the one missing out, not me. I know what I bring to the table. Anybody who doesn't want to recognize that, you know what? I would rather eat alone at my table. I don't need you here. And the day that light bulb popped on for me was the day that everything started to change. And I know there's a lot of you, probably the vast majority of you watching this video in the exact same place. You've been, you've been judging yourself and your own self-worth based on somebody else's ability to see your value, right? Oh, I know. Oh, trust me, I know. You've got to shift that internal dialogue, okay? The universe doesn't give you what you want. The universe doesn't give you what you like, what you deserve, what's fair. The universe gives you a mirror image reflection of what you are giving it, okay? A mirror image reflection. So if you're saying, well, I guess I'm just not good enough. I guess I'm just not pretty enough or whatever. The universe says, okay, here's some more of that. You're absolutely right. Here's some more evidence to support that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to change that inter internal dialogue. We got to change what we say about ourselves. And it's weird at first, but it's just like forming any new habit. It takes a while. It takes repetition. And yes, they have the tools and the technology to prove that you have the ability to rewrite your own neurocircuitry with the power of thought alone. Mm -hmm. Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about this a lot. The power of forced, repetitive thought control. Just like any other thing that you do that becomes a habit, it'll do the same thing to your thought process. So you, that's the point of affirmations, okay? That's the point of affirming things. People, people kind of treat affirmations like they're talking to some external force that's supposed to hear you and help you. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Affirmations, what you're doing is you are rewiring your subconscious dialogue. You're rewriting the way you think. 
You ever heard somebody say, oh, well, I said affirmations one time and it didn't do anything. I've heard people say that. That's like an overweight person saying, I ate a salad yesterday and, and did a couple of push-ups and I'm still overweight. Uh, 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 uh. This is a lifestyle change. The things that you say to yourself, that's a lifestyle change. You have to start forcing new internal dialogue all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, until you no longer have to force those thoughts. When the day comes that those thoughts are running all by themselves, on autopilot, just like a computer program, that's when you will watch your life transform. Because what happens is your external reality will mold to fit what that voice is saying, not the other way around. The illusion is that voice is reporting back to us what's happening out here in this objective reality that is arbitrarily happening to us. Uh -uh -uh. Change what that voice is saying and watch your world change. Oh yes. Anyway, Scorpio, I feel like that was your all's message. I am going to go ahead and end this reading here. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in and played along. Thank you all so much for all the love, support, and positive feedback you show me here on YouTube every day. It makes my job worthwhile, y'all. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.